Hello everyone, this is King, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, episode 18. In the previous episode, it was heavy on the cutscenes, but we were able to unite with our Agnes counterpart, or Agnian counterparts. We can finally play as Kevs and Agnes. We are now able to switch between party members, which is a godsend. In this episode, we will be focusing on reviewing our Agnian arts and accessories. We'll be doing a lot of housekeeping items, just looking over accessories, maybe looking at items, checking the Collectopedia one more time. Then once we're done, we will head over to the main story and do a little exploration if time permits and go from there. So I expect the majority of half of this video to be about reviewing our Agnian friends here and we'll go from there. Let's see. We'll start with Mio. Okay. Let's see. They are all level 14s already. I already did level them up. We show that No is the lead. We sh that little diamond there helps us know that this is a lead party. They are not all ranked 10, not yet, so we may go fight some trash mobs to fix that, but I feel like it might not be necessary. I think it's just going to happen naturally, so we may just leave that alone. But let's check out Senna. Is Senna still ranked 9? Yes, she is. Her attack is 136. Noah is 126, so she has higher attack. She has higher HP than him. But Noah has a higher dexterity. Agility is the same. Noah has a little higher bit crit. I don't know if 2% is going to make that big of a difference, though. So Noah is more well rounded than Senna is. But I don't expect them either to take damage, so this isn't really relevant but if it in the event that they do take aggro he will probably survive longer than she, than senna let's take a look at our evasion tank hp is really high about 500 lower than lance attack is 93 lance has a huge lance has high attack 127 is insane i think that's as high as noah yeah actually one point higher than noah lance has higher attack than Noah, but that's because I gave him a silver belt. I think I can show stats here, right? How do I do that? There we go. Yes, he has a... Can I switch over? No, I can't. He has an attack up by 25%. And then Noah has dexterity up. So hopefully Noah's not missing anytime soon. Let's see, dexterity, 66. Six, that's not really important, but they do have a high either defense, I notice. Agility is terrible. Healing power is 91. Attack is 75, 81, so hopefully Tyon has some arts that are revolving around attack. We, we will see. Let's see. His defense is 51 defense for physical. You got Mio for 49 either, which is not bad. Let's take a look at Mio's skills real quick, because it, it upgrades at 10. So if she has either defense bonus, 10% chance to prevent attacks on allies within a fixed radius. Deals boost either, yes, here we go. So once she ranks 10, she'll probably be 50% either defense, just like Lance here. So it's not really apples to apples just yet. Can I get an overview just by doing that? Here we go. So she has agility up, prevents attack, nearby allies, 10%, evasion counter, 125%, either defense, 12%, agility up, 20%. I will be keeping that accessory. That is a very nice accessory. Let's see. Let's move over here. No, we don't need to look at uni. Tie on. Healing up, 25%. It's the best we can do right now because we have nothing else to offer. Tie on. But, 
He has unblockable, has a chance to be unblockable 70%, which is really nice, either damage up 35%, longer debuff time, again, I don't know if that means for everybody or just him. Still learning that. Let's see. Alright, Senna, what do you have? Topple up. Topple. Lance does topple, so she just helps Lance. Reaction success up. That's really good. Physical defense damage up. Physical de physical damage up. 35%. That's probably why she has 10, uh, 10 points higher attack. Makes sense. Damage up. HP high. So as long as she has high, high HP, which she should most of the time. And dexterity. What does Lance, or what does Noah have, actually? Slower attack aggro. I mean, honestly, the only thing Noah has going for him is the unique monster slash boss 80% damage up, really, to be to be fair. Let's see. But he does have high accuracy, so I'm very fairly confident he's not going to be missing anytime soon. Um, let's look at accessories for... Mio has a... Boost jelly, I'm not changing that. I think I'm gonna keep Uni with a no pawn strap. Because we we've so we've seen before that it, the healing group heal has come, it's very useful. Uh, like over here Tyon has boost healing 25%. I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna change that, but if he has better healing than uh than Uni, I might consider it. Silver belt for Lance. I do want to keep his attack high up because of the aggro, so the higher attack the more aggro you'll get anyways. So it seems the majority of the time Lance will have aggro. Um, if I I want you need to have aggro but her attack is really piss poor and I don't want to reduce her agility any lower because having an 83 agility is nutty and I want to keep it that way. She has literally I would say yeah, she has double the agility than every party member here. That's insane. 62, 66, 68, and then we got, what, 74? Yeah. It's insane. Let's see. Let's go over the arts, though. So with high attack, should be high percent. Big impact does blow down. I don't know what that oh I know what that is that's not that just does yeah it's just blow down this is blow back right no it's knock back okay then launch her 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 special arts is a launch I don't know that's gonna take a lot of timing to do to be honest let's see boost damage dealt when attacking dazed enemies by a hundred percent that that can be useful. That sounds like Noah's skill. Attack becomes unblockable and damage dealt is boosted by 20%. Yeah, I I guess that's nice. I just don't don't know if if the enemies are being blocked or not. It doesn't really show a reaction if the if the attack is being blocked. It's just the damage is gets reduced by 50%. Boost damage dealt when attacked by day attacking day's enemies. Giant swing. So it just does a straight 300%. Oh, an 8%. Okay. Straight 300% power multiplier for giant swing. That's huge. And does knockback. Let's see. Boost damage dealt when attacking from the side. That's nice. 120 versus 210. 3%. Wait. Oh, it's, it's her. What? Recharge gauge? I don't understand. How does that work? Oh, it's 3 seconds? What the heck? Auto attack recharge. Oh, three seconds? Oh my god. Oh, but it's auto attack recharge. Does that matter? Is it just recharge quicker? Because Agnes does go based off auto attack recharge. That's right. Uh, blow down. Inflicts blow down on enemies when attacking from the front. I don't know. Should we mainly just focus on her at being on the side, though? Boost damage dealt to daze targets. I'm not really dazing too often, but we're looking at a 300, 120, and 255. You're looking at a hammerhead dealing a lot of damage. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to choose an episode where I just want to focus on one character and go from there. I'm not gonna do that today, though. All right, Uni, what do we have here? Gemini strike. 
That's huge. 500 foot percent. That's insane. The recharge is super slow. I mean, super quick too. Evade attacks. That's nice. So the entire time she's evading attacks. Also boost aggro generated when using arts by 50%. That's really good. What does she have here? Target lock? That sounds good. If it's what I think it is. It means like the, um, the enemy can't... Oh no, this is good. Holy shit. Okay. So the, the plan is if Lance is low HP, she can use glowing ring to have the target force, um, force, uh, what is it called? Force target her as Lance heals up. And since she's a Vage, she's not taking any damage. So the healers can, the AIs don't really have to think too much and can just focus on healing Lance. That is nice. Re the recharge is really short as well. I just don't know how long it lasts, but that sounds great. Boost evasion by 30% and reduce damage dealt by what? That's insane. That's insane. And it does damage too. Golden Ring does damage. That is insane. Boost evasion by 30% and reduces damage dealt by 15%. I can use Glowing Ring just to take aggro off of Lance every now and then. Like, that does sound good. But Speed Demon sounds awesome as well. Yeah, she's just not taking any damage. But that's good for boss battles, maybe. Just a, just a face tank. While Arts is active, evade enemies attack at the cost of a low critical rate. Well, she's not really going to need a critical anyways. These have the lowest cooldowns. Boost aggro generated by 50%. Boost damage dealt when attack enemies target by targeting you by 50%. I don't know if Uni will be having aggro that often, to be honest. So... Target lock sounds way better. 210, 170, that's what, 14, 240 over 210? I don't know, man, that's just. Target lock sounds like a way better skill than air fang. I'm probably gonna do that. Okay. Boost. Yeah, she does get the. Um... But if it's targeting her, Lance literally has almost 30 points higher attack than she does. She, she's not getting aggro first. She's probably going to be supplementary, so if Lance is struggling, I'll switch over to her and use um, Glow Ring and Speed Demon. That's, that's the idea. When Art is active, evade enemies attack at the cost of a low critical rate. She can also do Wide Slash. It does have a, a relatively low but it also reduces damage dealt by 15%. 30% evasion, boost evasion by 30%. So she has agility is 83. We're looking at 83 times 30% plus 83. That's 107 agility. That's insane. But white slash is guaranteed. Hmm. But it's for only the target. So this is good for like a lot of people. Multiple people targeting. I I think I'm gonna do that for boss battles, right? Okay, this is good just for attacking. I don't know, it's really hard. It's such a good skill though, but I don't think I want to take away anything else. Boost aggro generated when using Arga when using arts by 50%. Auto attack. I don't think any of them are actually AoEs either. So we have one target. Yeah, she has no AoEs. You know what? Let's do this. If she's really the sole purpose of using Uni is just to dodge and face tank, we can literally spam Speed Demon, Wide Slash, and Glow Ring. So spam Speed Demon and Wide Slash, and she is just untouchable. But she won't be doing any damage at all. Well, Let's see, when art is activated by enemies at the cost of... Hmm. Might butterfly with wide. And then speed demon. They have such low... C 
see that's what I'm afraid of. It's just they have such a low cooldown, it's insane. But I don't want her to... No, it's not like I don't want her to generate aggro, it's more like that's not her purpose right now. Plus with Glow Ring, she's gonna get aggro regardless. At least I think so. Let's test that out, because if it's not, then I can always... Hmm. Well, let's see if target lock is... You know, I think Uni is the first character I'm probably going to focus on. Well, we're, gonna, we're just going to leave it at that. If not, she'll be useless. You know, she's, she'll just be a, a body for now. Let's look at Tyon. What skills do you have that is useful? We can't complete the entire chain yet, though. So we have... If it's break, topple, launch smash so she can she can launch but we don't have a we don't have a smash we don't have anyone that can smash yet Tyon has a bunch of no he just has one hazy figure okay Let's see evasion up honestly with this and uni is just it sounds overkill I just really need to read heals all allies when art hits to a maximum of 100% 150% of healing power, which is great. Has a slow, has a low recharge, so he'll be doing it often, and is a lot better than um, Uni's. So Uni's probably does need the no pawn sash. She needs all the help she can get. She's, she's struggling. Hazy field range effect, small evasion up. I think I want that. I'm probably just gonna leave it on there for now. This is AOE and around users. Oh, that's a good short cast heal. Look at that. Either defense down. I I don't know if I would take that because all my players are physical. Except for my upper screen, which is just one attack, so overfall is not really looking too good to me right now. Evasion down. Or sleep. But it's frontal AoE, either attack, does sleep, I just don't know. I'd rather have it be AoE though, not a frontward AoE, which is not something I would consider useful. If it was just like an AoE around him, maybe that would be more useful, at least in my opinion. Unless you can attack targets while they're asleep. If you attack them and they wake back up, I don't, you know, I don't see the point in that. But evasion down, what would that do? Like. I don't really see um, enemies, you know, invading unless you're um, that rare drop raccoon. Hmm. I don't know, but it does huge 210% multiplier versus 250. Either defense down, either defense down seems really pointless to me, but honestly, it's probably the best one we have so far. So. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there because I don't really know too much about it. We'll have to, we'll have to test and then, and then go from there. So we got the skills, we got the arts, and got the accessories all covered. Let's see. Let's check out the Wikipedia. Not, not the map. Sorry. The Collectopedia. Here we go. We have nothing to turn in. All right. Can we save? Let's save here. It's good to keep a record. All right. Well, let's take one look at the map, and it's probably time to progress with the story. All right, let's go, guys. We've spent so much time reviewing that. I think it was necessary. And the first person I do want to overview is. I know this stuff too. It's Mio. So we want to see if Lance will get aggro just by being Lance. And then see if I can steal aggro whenever I want to. That's the goal. I think that's the most important goal right now. We can already we already understand that Tyon is a good healer. Uni is set up to be the best healer she can be with the no pawn sash. And she is still a good healer. It's just she needs to 
use a bunch of her arts and it takes longer for her to take her regen which is questionably evade here we go we got the daze right away okay we're gonna get the target lock here we go yes perfect look at that that's beautiful one Mississippi two three four five six seven I would say 10 seconds that's beautiful that is beautiful so I will just focus on auto attacking and the moment you know maybe if I see him see us make a skill or you know every chance I get I'll just aggro him over here and just make him miss like mad and then give him back to Lance over here. Hmm. okay we we should be able to manage somehow. can we do that We'll just focus on that. Wow. That's insane, they're just dying so fast. Really, uh, Mio's just meant to attack, auto attack. She has no purpose to using her skills right now. At least I don't think so. We can use Speed Demon, Evasion up, Attack down. We can use white slash or I don't want to use target lock that's not what I want to use right now let's check it out real quick I'm maybe losing my mind okay we're looking at glow ring and white slash we don't want to use glow ring we do not want to use white slash at least I don't think so it does no damage so just spamming white slash that's all she can do just spam that because I don't want her to spam anything else Or I can spam Glow Ring into Speed Demon into White Slash, or Speed Demon into Glow Ring into White Slash. Let's try that. Okay. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. Come on, See if I can get that. Speed Demon into Glow Ring. But he just died too fast. I guess there's no point in actually testing that out. They're they're dying too fast. Here we go. All right, let's go. Kind of awkward. How do you think we feel? Oh, they're still talking about like being together and stuff. Let's see. Well, sounds like we got everything covered away. This um, episode, I mean, it turned out to be exactly how I thought it would just be an overview of the characters. And we didn't really learn much, but we definitely have a lot of questions. And I'll take it one episode at a time. We'll take one character and fix them. I think the highest priority is probably the tanks because they have all the attention. Then we can focus on the healers, see how they can best support us. And in their combat abilities, we don't really need to focus on the healers or tanks doing damage because of their jobs, right? because of their, their jobs and their focus. If their focus is mainly healing and tanking and supporting others, I'd rather do that. Honestly, Senna and Lance, they have such a nutty combination of attacks that I really, really shouldn't really have to worry about damage. If anything, the main goal is to, to tank swap effic effectively and efficiently. Whoa, so I can lead them right to their in. own devices. I know that by playing Uni already.
All right. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take, so I'm I'm just gonna end it here. I think this video is was good enough to be just an informational video. We didn't progress the story at all, but we did learn and review some of the stuff for the Agnian characters. I do want to go a little bit more into the testing field of everything, but I think I want to continue the story a little bit more. We've done enough of uh, speculation and review for today. I think we need a little break. Alright guys, in the next episode we are going to purely pursue the main story as playing Mio as the main character so we can learn as a, a little bit as we go, but she's not going to be the main focus. So we can just test around, play things out, but we'll we'll do the finalized review and, and then the testing in a later date. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.